Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Delta, back with another Call of Duty mobile video, where today I'm going to be giving you probably one of the best four finger claw HUDs for COD Mobile. And if you don't know what HUD is, it's basically the controls on your screen. So obviously I've been, I have advanced mode on because I'm not a noob, but let's get into it. So really quickly, if, if you really want to see the shooting mode, here is my shooting mode. The only thing I have on ADS is sniper rifle. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so here's my HUD, and I'm going to be telling you why this is a really good HUD for four finger claws. Now, first off, let's start with the main things. You have the movement button. As you can see here, I have my joystick right here, and I have it on 50 opacity. Opacity is up to you guys, but I have it on floating so that wherever I tap on the left side of the screen, it will move, the joystick will move there. <clears throat> I have this left side fire button right here, uh, but I don't really use that. <clears throat> so basically, for my left thumb, the only thing I use with my left thumb is the joystick and, of course, this running thing, this uh, swipe up to run. Now, next, for my right, well, also for score streaks, I will use my left thumb. For the right thumb, I use the grenade button. Well, it's, it's going to be right here. I also plant bomb, select gun, and reload. So I want to show you the really important ones. Well, that will come to later. So we have the reload button, which if I can drag, that would be nice. So we have reload down here. I have my grenade button, which I am going to reduce the opacity later. My text or talk button, uh, that's also cool. And here's the more important one. We have my shooting button up here. And now we're moving on, obviously, to... Oh, yeah. And for my right thumb, I use it to look around. Now for my right index finger. I use... Two or uh, two primary fun one primary function or two. First is definitely gonna be the shooting, as you can see right here. Shooting is definitely one of the biggest one, and the knifing button right here. I also have my uh, my operator skill right here, and if we pop down here, we have my chat settings and emotes. Now this is a this is probably the most important finger, and, and if you can, you might even be able to switch r these three buttons with these two buttons. But if you can master the art of moving your fingers with lightning speeds, this is a perfect HUD for you. It might take some time to get used to, but it is very useful. So let's start off with uh, the three m primary functions of the left index finger. So first, whoops, I keep moving that. I do not mean to do that. We have first the scope or ADS button, and of course this is super useful. Next, we have the crouching slash sliding slash prone button. And finally, we have the jumping button. Now, if you want to know, well, why did you put all these buttons where you did? The reason is, while I'm using my thumbs to move and look around, my left and right index fingers are really going to kill enemies. What I do primarily is I'll be walking forward. I will I will use my left index finger to slide and look to the right using my thumb. And this allows me to do a quick slide. And I will demonstrate all these in a game uh, after this. I can also do jump shots. I, I use tap to ADS because it's just easier that way. Because then it allows me to focus on jumping and crouching. You can do drop shots and crouch shots, and you can also do bunny hop or jump shots. So I think the best way to explain this is to get into a game. So give me one sec, and I'll see you when I get there. Just one more thing I forgot to mention, this little uh, running man in the middle of the screen. It's not in the middle of the screen because my screen is a tiny bit disproportionate or unproportionate. I don't know which one it is. So I uh, put it to the center of my screen. So now let's get into an actual game. All right, so we are in a match, and I'm going to be attempting to show you all how to use this HUD layout. It's going to be a bit difficult for you guys at first. I mean, I just learned the HUD, but after seeing how good it was, I decided this is the HUD because it allows me to do so many things that six-finger players can do, but, you know, with less fingers, obviously, because I play on a phone, so it's going to be a lot harder. We've got... Oh, wow. Still got the kill anyway because he was, uh, pretty, pretty sure he was bought. Yeah, but as you can see, I'm low on ammo, so this is not going to be good. But as you can see, we can do different types of shots, crouch shots, jump shots. I'm going to try. 
That was a crouch shot. That was a jump shot. You want to perform the different shots. I want to try drop shot. If I could get it to work. That was a drop shot. Boom. Three in a row. Let's go. Gonna get another drop shot in here. Oh, and we are actually out of ammo. No way. But the round is going to reset. So let's get into the second round. Want to see if I can push super aggressively to get the nuke? Oh my jeez. Do not know why I didn't scope in, but... Oh. So I can do the thing that Ferg trademarked. Yes, I watch Ferg. Wow, hold up. It's a lot about trying to predict where your enemies are. Obviously, I should have ADS there. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh my Jesus Christ. I'm in such a bad position. Shoot. Oh my God, get out of here. Yeah, see the problem? Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I just got sniped. I knew that was going to happen. But as you can see, that's the end of the game. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did enjoy this four-finger HDD claw setup layout, then please do leave a like as it really helps out the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you want some brand new content. And make sure to uh, comment and see, uh, if you want to see something in particular. And share the video with your friends as this might be useful to them. So that's it for today's video. Delta signing off and I will see you all in the next one.